everybody and welcome back to Pokemon Legends Arceus. This is part 5. Uh, last time we were challenged with... I forget the name of the actual, the actual name of the Pokemon. Basically we were challenged to calm down an angry bear by fighting it. It didn't go well. Oh, jeez, that's not... Uh, yeah, I think that's all we're doing so I'm pretty sure I did not succeed. Uh, uh, give me a second. There it is. Uh, yes. No, no, we did. We got Ursula. Okay. So we're now looking for a resi. Why are we looking for a resi? I don't know. But nonetheless, I forgot. I thought we'd fail. We did fail, but I didn't remember that we had then went back and succeeded. So that's what we're going to do today. We're going to head back to the Crimson Mirelands. And we're looking for a resi. I can't remember why. But that's what we're doing. That girl who set out earlier must have been eating some of Benny's potato mochi. I can still smell the mochi. That reminds me. I've seen Mistress Calava riding around on that Ursuluna, Ursuluna she serves, digging for treasure in the ground. I wonder if Ursuluna has, uses his sense of smell to suss out where treasure might be. Ursuluna now knows Arezu's scent. Follow the blue signals to find her. Okay. Oh, no, not you. There we go. Blue signals, you say? Oh, I see. Oh, that's yellow. That's also yellow. That's a side up. Okay, I feel like we need to be going over there. Just riding along with my giant bear. Come on, you can do it. I believe in you. Maybe not. Come on. Yeah, real nearly. He really does not want to do this hill. That's not so much a hill as a wall. But I believe in it. Come on. Don't think we have to go a long way and find a way around. Yeah, we're gonna to have to find a way around. Fine. That looks climbable. Maybe not. Okay. What we here? Come, you're so close. But alas, no. Up here. Oh god, I've angered something. How do I get up here? This is clearly where I'm supposed to go. Do I go up here? Interesting. Right now I'll do just angering the wildlife. There we go. Come on. Oh, what the? Oh god, no, I'm being acided. Or something to that effect. Here we go. This will surely get us on the right track. Okay. I will talk to you at some point, my man, but I'm kind of busy. Sir. Easy as that. Oh, Gareth. How did it all go with Ursaluna? I helped him. Thanks a bunch, fella. But how'd you find me all the way out here? Ursaluna found you. You tracked me all the way here by the scent of those potato mochi I ate? 
Barcelona sure is something. I know he's descended from one of the Pokemon that were blessed by Almighty Sinnoh, but still, wow. Indeed. My luck's run out, though, as you can most likely tell. I got chased by a Pokemon and sprained my ankle pretty bad as I was running away. It's almost like the world wants to punish me. Ah, there you are. A Rezu, right? Eek! M Mistress Kalaba, I, uh, I, I didn't... I owe you an apology. I treated you with disrespect, thinking you were just some whelp from the Diamond Clan. I'm sorry for that. I should have treated you better. Huh? But wait, but... It's not your fault that Lilligant became frenzied, nor that my Ursaluna was so enraged. You were trying to help them both, weren't you? I didn't even have the courtesy to listen to you. You'd think someone who's lived as long as I have would be more patient. It's okay, I didn't do a good job explaining myself either. Ursaluna only started acting weird after he got too close to Lilligant and smelt her perfume. She was already frenzied by that point, so I'm sure that's what's caused it. Caused it. Ah, that explains the strange powder I found in Ursaluna. It wasn't cocaine. It must have been powder from Lilligant. But what happened to your leg, dear? I was gathering ingredients to make bombs, but I, I fell and sprained my ankle. See, the reason I went to Jubilife was to get help for Ursaluna, and also learn about crafting. But while I was there, I bumped into Professor Lavender, and he told me about the bombs you used to quell Cleavor. So I thought I'd make some for Lilligant using her favourite foods. You galaxy people know all sorts of things. I'd like to learn even more from you, really. Well, then we'd better take care of Our Lady and get all this mess resolved first. I'm also here. Adamant! What were you thinking doing all this yourself? Did you think I couldn't help you? Though no one would blame you for thinking so. Not much of a leader, am I? I've never even seen Almighty Sinnoh with my own eyes. And I fail to imagine that Lilligant might have become frenzied too. Listen up, Gareth. I'll take the bombs that Arezzi made and meet you at Brava Arena. Don't you worry, Arezzi. Gareth will come, Lilligant, and that will be that. Things will settle down. Head to Brava Arena, Gareth. That's where Lilligant's seat lies. Arezzi will be taken care of. My dear Beverell and I will make sure she reaches her lady. Okay. That sounds good. I guess. Okay. A top mighty weird dear. Yes. Yes. There we go. Okay, where there's much better at traversing. Not quite a Skyrim horse, but pretty close. Especially with the, the sort of leap. Yep. Come on. We're going to break this mountain. There we go. Just keep prancing. I'm done. And we're over here. And just break into a sprint. Through the trees. And once again, just keep hopping. Come on. No, you're not going to do it there. That's a straight vertical wall. Here, you should be able to bound up here. There we go. And then... No, not quite. I also feel like there is just a path over here. Indeed there is. Okay. Your services are no longer required. Ottoman. So you've come. I take it that means you're ready. Sure. Probably not, but we'll give it a go. Lady Lilligant's a sight to see, even in her frenzy. Behold her, and be grateful. I hope we didn't keep you waiting. Oh, sorry, sorry, Callum. All it took was one of my poultices to get Arezu's leg all patched up. Calaba, ma'am, I'm deeply sorry we've had to lean on your help so much, especially as we're from different clans. Arezu tried to solve the whole situation herself. I dare say she bit off more than she could chew and caused some trouble. But her heart was in the right place. Listen, the Lady of the Ridge, Lilligant, is like a dancer, always in motion, always darting about. You'll want to watch her real close and learn how to dodge her moves. That's right, if you keep on dodging, she might get tired out, and that'll be your opening. That's when you can bring out your own Pokémon and prove your might. Don't let me die. I'm going to die, aren't I? Probably. But we'll see. Uh, 
I've done alright with Steve Ball actually, to be fair. Oh. There's just like a dancing lady flower thing. Well, you're not threatening at all. Lady of the Ridge, Lilligant. I don't remember how to dodge. Okay, when you press the Y button to dodge, you'll become invulnerable to Pokemon attacks for a brief moment. Dodge with just the right timing to pass through on incoming attacks without taking any damage. Okay. Hell yeah. Oh, we should also focus. So we're just sort of waiting for her to tire out. Is that the... Oh, we might as well bomb her, I suppose. Bombs away. Okay. Oh, shit. I know. Big Beberel. Actually, you're probably grass type. Oh well. Uh, okay. Sure. Just spit some poison mist, my Beberel. Why don't you? Um, ba -ba -ba -ba. You know what? Let's just go for a big, powerful rock smash. You're burned! Well, this couldn't have gone better. You're probably gonna. Nope, poison powder. That's fine. So, I'm trying to remember how this goes. Do I wait for this battle to finish? And then we do the. Oh no, rumor bombs. Eat bomb! Launch the bombs. T will take some hits, but that's fine. You don't seem to be doing anything. There we go. Just keep circling and dodge. Maybe don't dodge into the path of the thing, but that's a strategy. Okay, she's into her final quarter of a bar. Yet yeah, dodging sideways is not the not the play there. That's more like it. Calm the fuck down. Nearly there, nearly there. Hell yeah. Oh no, yeah, there we go. She just had to get one more hit in. That went a lot better. Because I'm pretty sure uh Cleavor KO'd my entire team. She only got one. Plus a poison. Yeah, that's about the college I expected her to be. Hell yeah. Oh, good to know. Let's see what those are in a moment. New moves. Received the meadow plate from Lilligant. A stone tablet imbued with the essence of plants. When used on a certain Pokemon, it allows that Pokemon to gain the power of the grass type. Neat. Hey, thank you. 
You didn't just save Lelegant, you saved Arezu as well. I appreciate it. First there's Shaluna, and now Lelegant. You're amazing, you know that? Being all frenzy didn't suit Lelegant one bit. I'm so sh so happy she's back to her graceful self. Lel. Arezu, you still owe someone an apology. Huh? Oh, don't worry about it. A young one like her is bound to get caught up in some trouble from time to time. Remember what's written in the Salatian Ruins. All lives touch other lives to create something anew and alive. There's wisdom in those words. I imagine they're the teaching of Almighty Sinnoh itself. Of course, I'd completely forgotten about them until a certain somebody helped me to remember. We owe you one, ma'am. Don't try to solve everything by yourself, Arezu. You're a warden. Of all people, we should know how to stand in solidarity with others. It's our job to stand side by side with Pokemon, after all. Yes, I know. I'm sorry. Well, I can hardly start yelling at you now after Kalaba wrapped that all up so nicely. Just one more thing, Arezu. I know you were trying to do what you thought was right, and I approve of that. But from now on, do it, w do it without keeping things from me. Agreed. Agreed. Other than that, no need to change a thing. Except maybe to put in some training. If anything else happens to Lilligant, I need you ready to protect her like the warden you are. I understand. Let's work together from now on to keep the Meyerland safe, Arezu. I'll be sure to inform Aredda that both the Diamond Clan and Galaxy Team helped save Ursaluna. You did well, Gareth. All our different groups finally joined hands to work together today. I admit, it was a fun day for me, but now it's time to be, I be on my way. Listen, you know me. I'm Adam, leader of the Diamond Clan, and I worship Almighty Sinnoh, the ruler of time. Time is all about change, and we can't live in fear of that. We can only try to help the time we live in change for the better. Something tells me helping you folks out will help me do that, and I'm looking forward to it. Thank you for everything, Gareth. I think I'll stay and talk to Lilligant for a while. What happened, Lilligant? How did a kind-hearted Pokemon like you end up all frenzied, huh? Though it's not like I'm perfect, I hid things and lied. I couldn't keep everyone. You couldn't even keep you safe. I'm real sorry about everything. Lady. I'm good at the Pokemon voices. Hell yeah. Report to Commander Kamado that you have accomplished your mission. I shall. Where is my nearest? To the camp! And then back to the village. Oh, but first. You're a real wonder! I saw light disappearing into the space time rift. Quelled another frenzied Pokemon, have you? We still don't know what's causing the lightning that frenzies these Pokemon. But you, you just go on rescuing them without even a hint of trepidation. You might even change the entire course of history here in Hisui. And I definitely want to be in the good books of someone like that. Let's stay in touch, friend. I see your Pokemon research is coming along nicely. May I record your findings? Sure. Mm-hmm, I see. Most illuminating. I'll update our Pokedex with this new data. Delightful. What's this? You quelled Lady Lilligant? Smashing! Let's head back to the village then. The commander will be wanting a report. Indeed, I imagine he will. First. You found her by the scent of my Maki, did you? Of course you did. When you have my level of skill, your handiwork can be recognised from a mile away. Remember to be thankful for getting to eat such masterful Maki when you come for dinner later. But first, don't you owe Kamado a report? Your meal can wait. Why is your moustache green? I don't know. But anyway. The one character I remember what voice I had to give. Uh, what's your deal first? There you are! You're the one, right? The one they've all been talking about? The Survey Corps kid that's been exploring the Crimson Meyerlands? My younger sister Wanda is in the Security Corps, you see. And she went to the Meyerlands too. But she never made it back. You managed to track down that Arezu woman in those boggy Meyerlands, right? So could you find my sister Wanda too? Anything I can go off of? You plan on using a Pokemon to find her? Hmm. 
Would her favourite kerchief maybe help? Lovely. Good. I'm counting on you. Please, find Wanda wherever in the Mirelands she's ended up. Okay. I'll keep that in mind. Okay. Um, I can be up again. Yes. There he is. With his moustache. So, you successfully calmed Lilligant. Excellent. There may well be times when the Galaxy Team will be forced to fight against Pokemon, but it is all for the sake of creating a new home for ourselves, free from war and strife. A stranger falls into our world from a rift in space-time, then frenzies are, introduced, are induced by strange lightning, which likewise falls from that very same rift. But you have no connection to the lightning. Is that, isn't that right? We may need to investigate the rift itself to prove your motives are beyond impu impugning. That's the word. Hurrah. Ah, we're back at them. There you go. Piping hot potato mocky. Fresh from the stove. Oh, thank you, Benny. Now this is the life, eh? Enjoy tasty potato mocky with friends, sharing the latest findings from our Pokemon research, and topping it all off with a good night's sleep. Truly, who could ask for anything more? I don't disagree, yet I keep doing the same thing day after day. Is it really getting us anywhere? With our research or with carving out a life here? Ah oh well, here's a flashy new recipe to try, Gareth. It's for an item that should help scatter those gloomy nights. The thoughts even. Scatterbangs. Okay. Come now, don't worry yourself so, my girl. As a wise man once said, trust in yourself and you will find your way. These words are worth taking to heart. As long as we truly believe in ourselves, I'm sure we'll even complete that Pokedex of ours someday. Who said it, Professor? Here's your weird hat. The next day. Oh, Dino stretches. Morning, sleepyhead. You'll never guess what. I'm going to start working at the hairdresser shop. Now you'll be able to try out my own original hairstyles. Isn't that super exciting? Oh, I'm still going to be Lilligan's warden and all. I'll be burning the candle at both ends, but I can make it work. Don't you worry. Uh -huh. Anyway, come on over to the hairdressers when you can, Garth. I'll give you a killer hairstyle. I'll give it a go, see what you've got. I'm pleased that you have found a worthy successor for your establishment, Edith. Does Edith not get to speak? But Mr. Kamado, sir, er, uh, so about the whole Ursaluna situation. If you are to work here in Jubilee Village, you are family to us, no matter who you are or where you're from. Welcome, Arezzo. I mean, they accepted me, and I fell out of the sky. And you, Gareth, you will come with me to Prelude Beach. Oh, what a dramatic jacket swish. Huh. And who are these folk? Kill them. These people have just arrived here in history. They will live together with us in Jubilife Village. Assuming they can beat you in battle. When we of the Galaxy Team first arrived in this land, we came ashore on Prelude Beach. It is where everything began. This is where a new life for all of you will begin as well. We've heard that the Hisui region is inhabited by many powerful and frightening Pokémon. But we've also heard the Galaxy Team knows a great deal about Pokémon and uses their mysterious powers to help Jubilee Village grow. Indeed, you have both heard correctly. And the reason such tales have reached your ears is largely thanks to Gareth here, one of our Survey Corps recruits. Though the combined efforts of all our team members let us continue to develop our village and thrive here in the Hisui region. Sounds good. We look forward to doing our part, Commander. Delightful. The advancement of our understanding of Pokémon, thanks to the Survey Corps, has expanded the areas where we can operate safely. That is what allows us to welcome in newcomers like them. Gareth, you truly do love Pokemon, don't you? I do. 
Not really. Yeah. Hmm. Pokemon have done grave injury to many of our fellows in the Galaxy team, and yet you still find love for these creatures in your heart. I suppose that is a necessary quality for one in the Survey Corps. Remember this, though. Pokemon are terrifying creatures. It is imperative that we study them and learn all that we can about them, whether we wish to live alongside them or not. Ooh. And be warned, as the leader of the Galaxy Team, I am prepared to make harsh decisions in order to protect Jubilife Village. Commander? Oh, no. Commander, Arida from the Pearl Clan's arrived. Good. I believe I know what she's here about. As for you, Garth, you should see for yourself how Jubilife Village is changing thanks to the Survey Corps' efforts. Then you will come to my office. Okay. I'm gonna get her cup first, but sure. I could fast travel, but that's wrong. And by wrong, I mean combat die. There's my big weasel. Oh, what's your deal? Up on the rock there. What a tail. What you got now? Ah, what a remarkable tail that was. The Pokemon it belonged to must have been a wee little thing. It was hiding behind some rocks when I found it, with naught but its tail poking out. But it was a tail I'd give anything to see again. Think you could catch a po the Pokemon I'm talking about? Its tail was elegant and swirly like a spring. Come show it to me after you catch it, and I'll give you a nice reward. An elegant tail. I have no idea what you're talking about. Good sir. Curls like a spring, you say? Haven't an idea. But we'll we'll keep an eye out for. Three thing or are you just bored? Oh my god, you're not even... The more base camps we have, the easier it'll be to reach even the most remote corners of history. Okay, so your boredom is not something I can help with. Unfortunately. Alright, so the hairdressers. A place I haven't actually been in years. Uh, where are you? There you are. Hey there, in the mood for a style change? Sure. Great, come inside. Grab yourself a seat. So, what'll it be? I don't know. These don't... Are these, any of these new? I feel like these aren't new. I may, just be, I may just be sticking with my braids. Are the colours new? No. It's exactly my old style. I was, I was promised new, exciting styles. You did not deliver. And we're done here. Not a bad look, wouldn't you say? Yep, it's the one I came in with. Last thing, hat or no hat? Uh, leave it off, I don't even remember what hat I'm wearing. Oh no, my headband! Shit. I'm assuming you're talking about my headband. Drop by again any time you hear. I'll keep polishing my skills. Sure. That's oh, right, my house is, I think... I think it's this one. So I'm assuming I can change my style here. Because I need to put my bandana back on. I forgot that's what I was wearing. And she said hat. So... There it is. Change outfit. So... Boom. There we go. Survey course on this. Uh, no, it was a horrible. No, let's do it with game. That's not this. And nope, that's all fine. Yep. Anyway, 
to the commander's office. I appear to be barefoot. Is that just because I'm in my house? No, oh, there we go. Did they just appear? Interesting. Anyway, yes. Um, yeah, cool, let's see what you've got. There's a Pokemon I think would be the perfect inspiration for some new designs. It's a species called Shellos, you see. I've heard it has different forms depending on where it lives, with different colouring too. If I could just compare its different forms, I'm certain I'd be filled with inspiration. Could you show me Shellos' different forms? One could be found in the Obsidian Fieldlands, and the other out in the Cobalt Coastlands. That's a mouthful. Uh, sure. Shellos of the East and West. Might as well gather these up. File them in the village. I assume we're probably going to have to go and increase our rank before we actually get this mission. Just a hunch. But we'll see. I, com I commend you on your successful research of the Pokemon living in the Crimson Mirelands. Your next orders are to begin the survey of the Cobalt Coastlands. I will let you know in advance. There are no Pokemon nobles in the Cobalt Coastlands. Allow me to explain. We did have a lord in the coastlands, until a few years ago. A tragedy took him from us. Now we've had reports of people seeing strange shadowy figures on the island the lord used to call his home. We have also received word from both the security corps and supply corps. It seems some of their members were attacked by a ghost while out gathering materials around Fire Spit Island. These are serious concerns, and moreover, my clan just can't tolerate this desecration of our late lord's seat. Normally, I'd entrust this to our warden in the coastlands, but her situation is complicated. I trust my intentions are clear by now. I hereby order you to investigate these reports. The Lordless Island. Neat. I'll meet you in the Cobalt Coastlands. I do love it there. It's a beautiful area. Haunted is all fact, but beautiful. Oh, and I know this must be a bewildering situation to be dropped into. I'm sorry, Garth. Think nothing of it. Garth is a talented and hard-working member of the Galaxy team. I am sure he will sort things out. Indeed, Garth quelled both quelled the Lord of the Woods. I have seen both his strength and his kindness firsthand. Oh, thank you. Mm-hmm. The next area for you to investigate will be the Cobalt Coastlands. It is farther afield than the Crimson Mirelands, much farther, and the path is long and trying. You must be at least the third star in our ranks to be able to tackle the coastlands. Okay. Strive to defeat Pokemon in battles and observe them using particular moves in your survey work. Work on such research tasks to ready yourself and help with any requests that may have been posted on the professor's blackboard in his lab. Mm-hmm. Okay. So we'll go and see the professor, or more specifically his blackboard. Okay. I think I picked those up last time I was here. Or in the last part. Okay. So we need to do some research, get up to a three star ranking, and then we can do the mission. So let's see what our requests are. I still haven't found any springy mushroom. Okay, let's track that. I'm assuming she's somewhere in the village. Yep. Because we, we know where Zubat are. I'm assuming it's either catch and show her a Zubat or complete the dex entry for Zubat. You have a lantern. It's daytime. Hi, Clarissa of the Security Corps. That's me. Thanks for so much for taking on my request. I need you to catch a Zubat and show it to me so I can take a look at its eyes. Odd request, I know, but I have good reason for it. Zubat never seemed to have trouble flying around in pitch darkness. That means their night vision must be top notch. If I could learn how to see in the dark like them, night shifts on guard duty would be a breeze. So I'm counting on your help. Catch a Zubat and come show it to me, would you? Have I caught a Zubat? I have! Oh, do you have a Zubat to show me? In one of these pastures? There it is. Sweet! I'll just take a look at those peepers, if you please, Zubat. It appears to be peeperless. Oh, now you've made it self-conscious about its lack of eyes. Huh, where are the eyes in this little guy? Don't tell me. It doesn't even have eyes? But 
But that means Zubat flies around while being completely blind? Hmm, Zubat must have some other kind of secret sense if it doesn't even need eyes. <sighs> That's amazing and all, but it hardly helps me. What am I going to do about my nighttime shifts on guard? You're walking around with a lantern! Get a partner, Zubat? Or not. Oh, that's a good idea. No need for me to go it alone after all. A little help would be great. That's that then. I'll get out there and find a Zubat that can help me as my partner. Thanks for the great advice. You have that one. Like, just take that one. It's fine. Okay. Not too great start. Those don't, I don't think those contribute to our ranking, but good to, good, good to do it anyway. Timber of the Fields. Show you. Okay, complete the entry for Trick Tot. Cherim. I might, I don't know if I have the things for that, but I might just do it to get out of the way. Uh, Will of the Wisp, uh, the more general wisps, Party Grains, we still need to find two more of those. I forget what that is. Okay, got a few things here. And the Elegant Teal, and the Shallow Slate, okay. So we'll go to the crafting station, because I can't remember what I need for the polka doll or whatever the fuck it was. But if we can do that, that's just another thing off our list. And I believe the crafter was here. Crap. What do we need? Wood. Okay. Okay. Uh, we'll go out into... We'll just go into the first area. Because actually I think... Actually, no, if we go to the second camp, that gets us near Zubat. No, we've caught Zubat, we don't need to do that one. Yeah, we'll just go to the first area. Let's see what the... So I think the quickest way to do this is to complete a dex entry. So we'll go back to the Obsidian Fieldlands. Start at the Fieldlands camp. And we'll see what entries need to be completed. So, the Duth, I'm pretty sure, uh, you might be done. Well, no, uh, what have we not to do? So we've done everything except heavy. Okay. Are you heavy? I don't know, just gonna lob a ball at you and see what happens. Also, we need to catch more anyway, so that's fine. I forget what entry we. I think did we complete. We completed something. I missed. I missed. Stop missing! Son of a bitch. Damn you. And they've gone. Hell yeah. Medicinal leak. Any more the doof. Nope, we've got some starlings. Have I completed your entry? Uh, starling. Yes. Yes, I have. Okay, so we're done with you, so you don't matter. Let's see that leak though. Did you just sort of like pop into existence? Uh, you, I think we still have quite a lot to do. Okay, so we still need to catch a whole bunch actually. Why am I doing? Should have went and bought some more footballs. I'm now realizing. Hey, nice. A spoiled apricorn for boot. One over there. Into the tall grass. I think you're looking away. Okay, we still need to get close enough to focus. And lob the ball back of the head. 
second though. Don't seem to be finding any big bidoofs. Annoying way. Little bit of snake. I'm sure this will come in handy at some point. That's a boizel. That's a bidoof. I think we're, we're close to the, the three star. If I remember correctly. Don't want to be a big one? No, we don't. Ah! <laughs> Just let that approach me, really, and hope for the best. Nope, you got away. Oh my god, why did I just lunge at it? You look like you might be big. Are you? No. God damn it. Where are the large bidoofs? So two balls left. And then we will have to go back to the village. Get in the ball. There we go. No, I do need to go back to the village. Okay. So we can bump, go back, bump to you, just to track and register whatever we did do. We catch seven Pokemon. That's good. Gets us some extra money, which is good because we need money for Pokeballs. Um, I have made some new observations. Indeed, I have. Oh, yeah, no, we're very close. Actually, hold on. Can I craft any? I can. How many can I craft? I can craft two. Okay, we'll just go back to the village. Or can I buy from you? Did you say something about... Uh, da, 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 da. Shopping. Uh, let's buy a thing as you wouldn't let me. Actually no, just buy... Uh, buy 40. That should be grand. Thank you, Galaxy member. Hope someday you'll earn a name. Okay, that's a Bidoof. Donk. Oh, I just chuck an apricot at you. Fuck's sake. Sorry about that. That's more like this. Bonk. Just chuck the rotting fruit at it. Okay, well, we need to catch three more generally. That's the only thing. We don't have to catch that many big ones, but it's just finding them. Are either of you hefty? Doesn't seem to be any way of knowing. Here. There we go, clock on the back of the noggin. You're in. You weren't big though. What about you? Do I be big? You catch one more generally. And that's three hefty specimens. Seven big ones. We caught three. And they don't appear drastically different to small slash normal sized ones. So that was a hell of a roll. Let's do that again. Fuck yeah. But I feel like if we complete the dex entry for Bidoof, that's enough to get us to the three star ranking. Where are they all? Leak. 
just need to find some big ones. Four more big boys specifically. And girls. Nope. Hopefully I come across a request where someone's just looking for like a metric fuck ton of Bidoof. For some reason. That I can just unload onto them. Possibly for money. There's also a giant, whatever the evolution version of Weasel is, like across the river. But I think it would still wreck my shit. So I'm not going to go and bother it. Oh, that was just a normal one. That's Weasel. At least I think it was over there. I don't see it. Any more Bidoof? Assuming Bidoof is the plural of Bidoof, as opposed to Bidoofs. Or Bidai. Yeah, that's too close to Bidai. Oh yeah. Pretty sure we might actually be pretty close on Wormful. Hold on. Focus. Wormful. No, we are not. I think Bidoof is still the play. Are you chasing me? You are. Cheeky fucker. That's Bidoof. Is it a big one? Let's find out. It was not. Oh well, this is tiny drips of XP if nothing else. You there. You chonky? Okay, so we need three more. Three more big old Bidoofs. Here we go. Oh, that's right, you want that new move. Oh my god, an Eevee. What the fuck? Get back here. Damn it. Oh, don't just launch. Ah. Um. You just stand there, sure. I see a bit of over there. There we go. Okay, so Evie just occasionally falls out of trees. Nope, not the not the ponytail. Have no quarrel with it. Right now, anyway. Not a big one. That looks like a big one over there. Ah, get away horse. First, just because it's there. No, not the horse. I swear to God, something at the horse. Sneaky, 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 sneak. And back of the head. Hell yeah. Yeah, you're definitely a big one. I think. Or not. Apparently I have no idea what a big Bidoof is. Uh, I've also sort of got turned around. I don't know where I am. Oh yeah, no, no. Got it now. Oh, no, that's a warp. Warp pull. Pardon me. I need to go and sleep until day at this point. Got to go with birds. I just know I have sort of got turned around, I don't know where. Okay, that, I followed that, that was only getting back to base. Birds. No more quarrel with you, birds. I have completed your decks. In 
entry. So it's the bird decks. Or starry decks. Oh, there's some voodoo. So we have four, we have seven total. One more gets us the next sort of points. If you want to be large, that would be great. And of course you're not. Oh no you are. Sweet. Okay, so that's six out of seven. Oh, okay, apparently I did catch one of them at some point. I just missed it. And you looked about the same size, so you better be. No, of course not. Why would you be? Why would you be? Hold on. Nope, that's not right. Uh, nope, that's not the deck either. Not what it is. Do. Okay, so yeah, we need one more. If we can go back here and hand him a plate of decks entry, that would be swell. That would just be tops. I don't care about you, angry shinks or ghost balloons. Yes, I will need to rest. Before I can catch more to do. Jeez. Nope. Don't attack me. Die, 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 die. No, I'm determined I'm not giving you anything until we actually complete the deal. So we will go until morning. A single hefty Bidoof. Is the rain an issue? I don't think so. No. Okay. So we're just going to start whacking balls at Bidoof. And one of these fuckers is going to be large. Okay, get in the ball. Fuck you. Fuck you. Okay, you. In the ball. And be big. For fuck's sake. Hell yeah. Damn it. Okay, we're gonna follow you. And hope you are big. Right in the noggin. You asshole. And dive. Hell yeah. Have a leak. Oh, I do. What about you? Are you big? No. Oh, you are not. Do just one chunky bit of. That's all I need. That's all I'm asking.
one the doof worthy of an old lord he cometh. points for each thing you've done, but then also there's points for completing an entry. And we have quite a lot of things to complete this entry, so those things combined should get us our rank. So that next time I can do I can go straight into the mission. Where dear? did catch 21 Pokemon, predominantly, entirely, Bidoofs and 1 EV. Nice. There's a wee bit of extra money for catching the EV. Nice. Basically earned back the money I spent on Pokeballs. That is, yes, that is a complete Dex. Plus, info on EV. Okay. Really? Really? You don't get from completing the Dex entry? Did I not complete the Dex entry? Hold on. Did I? No, it's done. Huh, it just wasn't worth any points. Okay. Uh, so yeah, we are 500 points shy. I think we only got like 8 points left. And also, yeah, the unknown thing for a bit though. That's annoying. Okay. Uh, da -da. Uh, da -da -da. Who would be sort of good to go after next? Weasel's probably the way to go. So, I've defeated none with electric type moves, because I don't think I have any electric type Pokemon. Oh no, I have Shinx, of course. And large specimens and just general catching. So, I've done the different forms, so that's good. We have maxed out seeing it uses Aqua Jet. So if we just hold on, line up Luxio. Going to do a wee bit more. We'll not do it tonight. Sand. It's an Epicorn. Nice. They seem to be. Also, uh, Boisel's a bit easier to tell when you're dealing with a big one. Oh my Christ! Hold the fucking phone. Change your plan, lads. This is how we're ending the episode. Ow. We're catching us a big bird! Oh, it's only got 17 as well. Oh, I need to be careful here. I might kill it. So we don't want to actually use our electric moves for fear of killing. So I do want to catch this big fucker. Oh, and you just killed Luxio. Bastard. Uh, you know what, Stravi, you go out. Just because... Like, that's the evolved one of that, and look at the fucking size difference, this is epic. Check a ball. See if this works. I do not want to knock it out, though. So hopefully it stays in. Yes! We've got a big bird! And got some AXP candy. And grit gravel. And also got a bit more of Luxio's Pokédex. So that's good. 
there was something I wanted to do, but I forget what it was. Um, nope, it's not. So, hang on, I can remember. Nope, not that. That's it, that's how you see it. Okay. Sweet! So, we caught ourselves a giant bird. So, we'll probably go and add it to the party and the start of the next part, because that'll be fun. Uh, so we're still working our way up to our third star ranking, which will allow us to get the next mission. So when we return to this in whatever amount of days time that will be, that's what we'll be doing. Some more research. We'll also get some more requests out of the way, just because those are fun as well. Uh, so I will be back tomorrow night, and that will be the start of Bioshock 2. Looking forward to that. I know nothing about Bioshock 2, so that'll be fun. And then I will probably not be streaming on Sunday. And then we'll see where we are for the following week. I'm not sure what days I'll be streaming yet. But as always, you can keep up to date with all that on Twitter. That's at GarethA92. That's where I'll let you know what I'll be streaming and when. So uh, that for now, though, that was part five of Pokemon Legends Arceus. Until the next time, I'll see you and goodbye.